Okay, how's it going YouTube? Alkazam here, and today I have a deck list, and that is Sogaleo GX and Lunala GX. So let's get into the deck list. First up, a playset of Town Flames. This card is good because of its ability, Gale Wings, and also its attack. Gale Wings, this Pokemon is in your hand when you are setting up to play. You may put it face down as your active Pokemon, uh, so that means you don't need Fletchling and Fletchender. But the bad part is that means if you don't start with it, you have four dead cards in your deck, and even if you do, you have three. So, what? One second. Okay. Um, but what makes it really good is its ability, arrow, or its attack, arrow blitz. Uh, for a list, 40, search your deck for up to two cards, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. This is very good in decks where you're running stage two, especially when you need two different stage twos on the field. Next up, four Cosmog, obviously both Sogale and Lunala evolved from this, so yeah. Two Cosmom, because obviously you need both Sogale and Lunala. So if you get item locked, I mean, I guess you have to, although if you're not item locked, don't use this because it has a free retreat. <laughs> Okay, so glad we basically use him for everything that he has. Uh, 250 HP. Its ability is Ultra Road. Uh, once during your turn, you may switch your Pokemon with one of your bent Pokemon. So basically, a free switch. And then, for two metal and a color, Sunsteel, uh, Sunsteel Strike. 230, discard all energy from this Pokemon. And it's GX attack, which you can only use one GX attack of any name, any description, whatever, per game. Uh, it says search your deck for up to two five or two five up to five. I can't. Okay, up to five energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. Can't use more than one GX tech in a game. Um, next up, Lunala. Uh, two hundred fifty HP again. Psychic transfer as often as you like during your turn. You may move a psychic energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So basically, if you use Soul Burst, you can get two metal and a, and a Psychic on it. But, uh, put the rest of the energies on Lunala. So when you use Sunsteel Strike, it does 230, but you don't have to discard all the energies you got with um, Soul Burst. And you can, you're, you can basically still attack for next turn. And then for four Psychic energies, we'll use this on weaker Pokemon. Uh, Moon Guys Beam 120. The defending Pokemon can't be healed during your opponent's next turn, so if they live that, they can't heal themselves at all without a Ranger. And then GX Attack will n basically never use. Um, 3 Psychic, Lunar Fall, GX. Knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX, so you can knock out an EX, but not a GX. Um, 2 Max Potion, obviously, since we can move. All our NGs that aren't basic metal, um, yeah, <laughs> we can basically heal with no consequence. Uh, four rare candies, obviously, these are stage two, so it's the fastest way. Uh, one super rod to get back energies discarded with Sunsteel Strike. Uh, one timer ball in case we have a rare candy, but not a GX, and we have to hope that we flip at least one heads. Um, Three trainers mail to try and draw into Ultra Balls or Rare Candies. For Ultra Balls, so search your deck for Sogolai or Lunala, depending on what you need. Or maybe even Cosmog or Cosmo. For VS Seeker to reuse supporters. Um, three Silent Labs to slow down your opponent so they can't use Shamans, they can't use Hoopas without a counter stadium. Or delinquent in the world. Paint roller. Uh, two Lysanders. Forcing a switch is always good. Um, 3N, obviously, draw support, and it could also be disruption in some cases. Uh, two Professor Kukui, or one, sorry. Draw two cards during this turn, your opponent's attack. Or your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So we get draw support plus extra damage, and a lot of stage ones have 140 HP. So if we go against those, we can use it. Then use Moon Guy Speed to knock it out. Or if you go against Sogolai or Lunala, 
We can play it, Sun Seal Strike and get knockout. Um, for Sycamore, very good draw support, discard draw 7. Weakness policy in case we go against Volcanion or Darkrai <laughs> or Eveltal. Uh, for Rainbow NG, obviously it can count as Metal NG for Sun Steel Strike, but it could also count as Psychic NG so we can move them. For basic Metal NGs, pretty self explanatory why we use those. And same with Psychic where we run 4. Okay, so let's get right into the matches. Okay guys, so I found another good match, and as you can see our opponent's um, playing Turbo Darkrai or Quad Darkrai, whatever you want to call it. Um, he runs the promo from the Mythical Collection. And, um, EX and Evelta. Oh, Evelta I don't mind actually. Yeah, we don't run any items, and we don't run any EXs, so. And 60 damage is nothing. We can live five of the, We can live four of those. And then we can heal them all off. And there's Evelto. So he's basically running the standard dark deck. That is bad for Lunala, actually. How many HP? Okay, 110. That's, that's good. Uh, we missed the candy. Okay. We have to get a Cosmog and a candy. I hope he doesn't knock us out. Okay, he fails an elixir. He already discarded three ends. He's lucky he's not playing against Vile Bloom. Uh, yeah, and Skyla, that's interesting. Skyla's not a card you see in a lot of decks. Okay, he passes, giving us another turn to set up. Um. I mean, all we need is the rare candy right now. Arrow Blitz. I mean, if he's not going to retreat, then... Well, to get here. Do I want to get a Lysander? I'm debating between Lysander and Sound Lab. I guess I'll just get the Lysander. Uh, I definitely want to take down that Eveltal. Please don't retreat. I really don't need Talonflame anymore. At all. Since this is going to be one of the decks where we do want to utilize Soleil a lot. Okay. So now he has two giant EXs set up. Okay, so he's letting us get the knockout here. Um, he gave me way too long to do that, I'm just saying. Uh, I wonder why he didn't try to do anything with that. Weakness policy, okay. Um, of course, the Eveltal is still heading for weakness, but we can live two of those. So we'll Aero Blitz. Getting the knockout. Now what do we need? I want to keep the Lysander in hand. And... I think a Super Rod. Not sure. Lunala can one-shot Eveltal. <gasps> Eveltal's ability is shut down. Yo. Oh my god. Oh. 20, 40, 
20, 40, 60, 80, uh, whatever, I'm not going to count, 150, dang, dang, dude, no, I, 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 I don't want to transfer, that was, that was not, not what I wanted, you know what, I think the Veltal's more a threat. Sunsteel Strike. Because you put too many energies on that. Which fuels Dark Eye. There we go. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll put something at the end. I'll think, like my overall thoughts. Okay, how's it going, guys? We are in a match. This is what turn? Um, turn number five in total. So I started this one late because I didn't realize that my opponent was actually playing a fairly good deck. Um. So yeah, you can basically see what is happening at this point in the game. Let's go double GX. He is playing um Xerneas Dragonite. That's I think it's seeing some hype. Yeah, I think we'll end also guys just to show you, uh this that my friend trainer Dylan, check him out youtube.com slash trainer Dylan. uh he used this at a tournament at my league or at our league and he beat mega recoys and i think he came in second with this deck so that just shows you how good this deck can be the only one he lost to is me i don't mean to brag i was playing vile plume <laughs> I mean, right now we're fairly set up. So we can hyper beam. And he's probably going to discard metal, which isn't good. <sighs> because I really don't want to have to discard a rainbow. Maybe we should run special charge just for things like Dragonite. He plays How though, and Corsola, so he he's definitely using a unique build. Let's just say that. Um. <sighs> We have the Sogaleo out, so I'm fine with uh, playing Cosmo I'm here. We'll go for N. So now we'll play the Silent Lab. We'll just get the policy out of our hand. And then we'll use Sunsteel Strike. I mean, you mainly want to... Oh, wow, that's so loud with headphones. <laughs> you mainly want to KO EXs with that. Like, Xerneas Break... The thing is, it can't one-shot me. So I'm fine with attacking it. Kukui will make us 10 short of the knockout, so it's not worth playing. Um... The Silent Lab actually helped us because he played the Dragonite down. I'm curious if he has the uh, the Counter Stadium and he just forgot to play it before. Okay. I mean, with Unknown, Dragonite, or with Dragonite, Unknown's not bad. Play Sycamore, what will he discard? Okay, he runs a playset of Corsola? That's an odd choice. I'm hoping to draw into a rare, or another rare candy. 
I don't need a rare candy. Um, uh, what was it? Max Potion. There we go. So I can heal up Solgaleo. There's the counter stadium. Not too angry. I mean, that's his third Dragonite. Xerneas is not that good, though. Oh, good. He didn't attach it to Xerneas. Oh, gee. Oh. God dang it. He's going to Geomancy. Okay, we get the super odd. Um, yeah, let's use it. Timer ball. Oof. It's happened to me way too many times. <sighs> Why do we have to be 10 short? Uh, that absolutely sucks. Okay. Yeah, we'll just Moongeist. Oh, I just realized we have free retreat because of Rainbow. Okay. I wonder if he's going to try to live stream for 20, 40, 60, 80. And will he attack with Dragonite or... Well, I guess he will because... We need some energies to start setting up a, another... Oh, we no. We need two more metal NGs. Actually, no, we can get a psychic. He's out of energy, or at least basic. He does run DCE, right? Yeah. Um, we have to quickly. Uh, we whiffed on the energy. Okay, we have. Oh no! Shoot, we only need to kill. A Dragonite. And then we win. He can't knock us out. Will he... Okay, he'll end us. I'm not too... I, I mean, I, I don't really care about that. Energy, come on. Ugh. Sycamore, okay. And Town Flame is not something you want to try to when you only get two. Hyper Beam, probably discarding the rainbow. Doesn't matter, we won. Okay, so we have free retreat, right? Oh no, we countered the stadium. Okay. Let's transfer the energy. Oh, and we had an energy there anyway. Done. Bam. Bam. Please don't concede. I know we already won, but... Go big or go home. <laughs> so that just shows you how good this deck can be. So let's Ultra Road into the Powered Up Solgaleo. And then Sun Seal Strike for the game. Okay, so on to round three, or is this round two? Yep, round two. Okay, guys, on to round two of Sogaleo Lunala. We are versing Sceptile. Now, this may be a little bit hard to outspeed. Uh, let me check on Mega Sceptile's HP, actually. Okay, so start. I'm not sure if it's laggy to you, um, because when I look at it, it's laggy when I'm, um, geez, uh, 
it has 220, 230, 220. Okay, so we are one-shotting it with the uh, Soul Burst. Of course. Just as I put it in, just as I look it up. Okay. Um, so, let's, let's discard the Psychic. Uh, go for the Cosmog. Let's not let him know that we're playing Soul Glaive yet. Okay, so we need the Soleil here. And let's get another Cosmog. I'd be fine if he not no, he can't knock us out. He would need a Spinarak. Or a Redive. And even then he wouldn't be able to. And he would need that and Kukui. Okay. Oh! Oh, he's playing Mega Sceptile with Venusaur. He's not playing straight Mega Sceptile. So, yeah, Mega Venusaur. And I need... I think Mega Venusaur is 240? So he... We may need a Kukui. And we whiff it. Oh. Okay, I think we'll let him get the KO. Because we do want a Lunala here. We just have to pray. Pray that he doesn't end us. There's the Venusaur now. Does he have a link? Oh, there we go. Oh. Why? Okay, so you could search your deck for any trainer card, and you get a card that lets you look at the top four cards and pick a trainer card you find there. Why didn't you... Go for the link in the first place. Oh my god. Yeah, 240, I think. 230. Okay. Just in case he plays, uh... Shaman. Soul Burst. We'll take a Metal. We'll take a Psychic. And then we'll take the rest in um, Rainbow. If we have a Kukui, we can one-shot the Mega Sceptile with uh, Lunala, which would put us in an amazing position. What will we do? Skyla. So you can't lie, Sander. Energy retrieval. We'll play it. We'll go for a grass. Will he retreat? He is. Oh. That's not good. We can Ultra Road into.
Nala. Okay. You can't one shot us no matter what. Let's play another N. We still miss the Kukli. I want to try to set up another Soglero so we can do two Ultra Roads in one turn. Moon Geist Beam. Yeah, his strategy doesn't work well when uh, when we're constantly switching. You know, I may just actually go for a Sycamore here. Okay. Because we, Kukli would be so helpful. It could win us the game. Okay, so we'll use Crisis Vine again. Missing the one shot. Septile needs a Kukui to kill us. Okay. Sycamore. Oh, we miss it. Okay, so we will Sunsteel strike him. There he is. Please don't have a bench Pokemon. Or please don't bench a Pokemon, I should say. God dang it. We live on 20. You know, a max potion would be awesome right now. I really want to get the uh, I don't want to help him. I have to sick him more. Okay, so we hit it. That's good. Okay. Ultra Road into the Lunala. Let's see. Okay. Let me think. Put you here, put you here, you here, you here, and then you here. Done. Okay. We'll pass. Um, we're not getting knocked out. I should have thought about that. Mm. But we are set up to win the game. We just need to hope he doesn't run energy denial. He has 8 cards in his deck. And we only have 12, but... <laughs> Laurentis is an interesting tech in this deck. Unless he just runs Blue Mantis, but I don't know why he would. Um, okay. We live on 10. He won't be able to hit 250, I know that. Oh my god. Uh, I kind of want to hide our Silgaleo for now. Yeah, let's, let's not tell him about that. Let's just 
hit for the knockout and be happy. <laughs> Let him think that we're stuck. Okay, he'll promote the Lugia. Even if you pr uh, promote Fomantis, I would have Lysandered out the Lugia, so. An N would be brutal right now. He played three, he played one VS Seeker. Okay, he'll get an Acro Bike. He's just milling himself at this point. It's like, I'll, I'll just take this out. Okay, I think we have just one VS Seeker left. I'm not sure if it's prized. Oh. Ooh. Come on. Come on. That is bad. Okay. We'll force a switch. Well, we we could let him take down Lunala. 20, 40, 60, 70. Yep, he only needs 10 to knock us out. He'll escape rope again? I, I don't know. There it is. That was a good match, man. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. <laughs> Round three. Here we go. Okay, so now let's look at my thoughts on sex. So what would I grade it? Um, I think I'm going to have to give this deck a B, B plus. Because Sogaleo and Lunala, like... They, at first glance, they don't have any synergy, but then you look at, like, they use the same evolution line, so, uh, that won't get in the way of Talonflame, um, uh, what else? Lunala can transfer the energies that you use Sogaleo for, Sogaleo can quickly power up Lunala by the turn you, can, you get Lunala in play, which is very quick, but... I, it's not going to get an A just because you need to start with Town Flame. Now, um, I did, I used a uh, random calc, or uh, deck calculator, card calculator, whatever, and the odds of starting Town Flame is 40%, or just getting it in your hand. So, that means most games you won't start with Town Flame, which, although, well, that doesn't really work with that because obviously uh, you can if you get Cosmog like it changes the odds basically I'm pretty sure I'm not that good at that stuff but yeah you need Town Flame now you can, I've done many matches where I won against Cosmog or won without um, Town Flame but normally you need pretty good luck to pull that off. Like, we do run things like Trainer's Mail, Ultra Ball, and Timer Ball, which make it pretty easy to get the stuff you need out. But, again, you don't have the same speed with Town with if you use Town Flame. And as I said, this deck run against um, so many uh, meta decks that were very popular. We just beat Dark. Um, we beat, what else, we beat Vespaquen, we beat, I forget what our first match was, but yeah, um, and then Dylan beat Rayquaza, he beat, I think he beat Sceptile, yeah, he beat Sceptile, he did lose to Vileplume, but what do you expect when you basically rely on items, um, so what, what could you add, um, there's not much that I would recommend adding. 
I mean, hmm. Wait, I want to see something. Oops, energy. Um, does do they have the same blend energy? Uh, me quickly. I should have done this ahead of time. No, they don't. Okay. Um, so don't do that. Um. You could add Nest Ball, maybe, to get Cosmog without having to discard. Uh, could add another weakness policy, because Volcanion is very popular, but you do run Silent Lab to counter that. Uh, yeah, overall, it's just such a powerful deck, and if, if you can set up, it's very hard to stop, unless you are just, like, whiffing on the energies all the time, so you, and your opponent's running Pokemon with like 130 HP, but they're not EXs, that will give you a bit of trouble just because you can't one-shot them with Lunala, but if you get Kukui, you can. And they're, you can't just keep spamming Sunseal Strikes because you only get one prize off of it. So tell me what you guys think um, I should add to this deck. The deck list will be in the description if you want to play, play with it, obviously. Again, you don't need the super rares and full art versions, but of course, you do want the Lunalas and Sogaleos, and I think three Sogaleos, two Lunala is an amazing count. Um, Cosmome, I mean, I didn't want to put him in, but Turner Dillon recommended it, and when I think about it, like, Vileplume is good, and I use him sometimes, like, at first glance, it's terrible, three retreat, um, but then you, like, You'll have Sogaleo in play, so you can switch once per turn, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, what changes would you guys make? That's the question of the day. Um, I guess I'm going to do that for all the PTCGO deck lists. Um, so yeah, stay tuned next week where I'll be profiling Serena with Sableye and Expanded. give you a sneak peek. <laughs> okay, see ya.